Welcome to A Pearl in Every Cow's Lips Ear. This is CLE Language Arts 500, Book 5, recorded live. I hope you enjoy. Grade 5 lesson for compound nouns, hyphens, in numbers. Some review. What is a superlative form of new? Wait. Like what? New. Remember, we have positive, comparative, superlative. Positive. positive is new, comparative is newer, mm -hmm. superlative is newest. newest. Good. What is the positive form of beautiful? Mm -hmm. no. Just beautiful. Positive, beautiful, beautiful. What is a comparative form of sneakily? No. No. Sneakily. So we're gonna have to, since it's too big of a word, we can't just put ER, we have to use more. More sneakily. Uh, what is a preposition? The connecting word that joins a noun or pronoun to another word in a sentence, such as at, from, for, with, where do we have? In, at, behind, with, from, under. Those are prepositions. What is a conjunction? And where the joins. Phrases or clauses. Good. Ambit or form or yet. And so, what is an adverb? A word that modifies a... A... Mm, verb. Verb. And an adjective is a word that modifies a... No. Or... Pronoun. pronoun. Good. Noun or pronoun. Today we have nouns. All these are, although these are compound nouns, these nouns are not made up of just one noun. They're made up of two, and both nouns kind of work together as a compound noun. Look at this tree house. This is just considered one word. Tree house. I, I wrote it as two words because tree is one noun, house is another noun. And how do we write it? These can be written three ways: either all as one word, or as two separate words or with a hyphen in between them. So, how do you know? Only one way to know. Look it up in the dictionary. I don't have the dictionary. Look it up in the dictionary. That's the only way to know. So if we would look up tree house in the dictionary, we would discover that it is written together. Tree house, all is one word. Tree house. If we would look up baseball in the dictionary, it would be the same way, baseball. Uh, grandmother, same way. Grandmother. X-ray. This one will have a hyphen in it. X hyphen ray. And then the last one, a full moon, is actually written as two separate words. Full space moon. Now, how can you tell in the dictionary what it actually means? The dictionary we're using would show tree house if it's if it's written all together it's still going to show it like this tree house it's breaking it into two syllables so that's okay for it to be tree house like that broken into two syllables if it has if it's going to have a hyphen in there it would say tree hyphen house and if it's two separate words it would say tree nothing house so don't get confused. If you see the dot in there, that means it's all one word. The other thing you'll realize is that the dictionaries do not agree with each other. Not all dictionaries agree with each other. Um, some of the things that this dictionary has that we're looking into don't agree with what the answer key says, actually. What the dictionary that whoever wrote the book used. So not all dictionaries agree, but for the most part, we should find pretty good agreement. There's one thing everyone agrees on. And that is hyphens for numbers. From the number 21 to 99. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 is just one word. But beyond that, 31, 32, all those words from 21 to 99 need hyphens in them. 20 hyphen 1, 90 hyphen 9. All numbers, if it's from 21 to 99, need hyphens, including 121, 199. 
3,021, 3,099. Always between 21 and 99, put those hyphens in there. Also, for fractions, 3 eighths, 4 fifths, 9 sixteenths, they also always get a hyphen in. So numbers always get a hyphen. Between 21 and 99, and 3 eighths. They're never written together as one word or as two separate words. Okay, carry on with your lesson.